Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we're at Adamson Barbecue in Toronto, Ontario, which is Toronto's best Texas barbecue, hands down. Today what we're here to do, not really a challenge, but a challenge at that. Today we're here as a fundraiser to raise money for the Toronto Covenant House, which is a youth shelter. So what they're gonna be doing is we're gonna set not only a record for the most barbecue ever eaten in one sitting here in Toronto, but we're also gonna be raising money for the charity. So how does this work? For every pound of barbecue that I can consume in 30 minutes, over $325, literally about $350 is gonna be donated to charity. So I'm really hoping to get like 10 pounds in. That's gonna be about 3,500 bucks, which is absolutely amazing. And it's all to such a good cause. So. Shout out to not only Adamson Barbecue, but everybody else involved in this. There's many sponsors. So with that, let's head on in, look at the food, and let's get eating. We officially have Toronto's biggest barbecue platter. In fact, this is definitely one of the biggest in the world. So let's set a record, not only for the most barbecue consumed in Toronto, but let's raise money for the Covenant House Toronto, because that's what we're here for. So behind me, as you saw, is this massive, over 12 pound plate. I'm talking a variety of different meats, we have brisket, we have pulled pork, we have turkey, we have ribs, we have sausage, we have coconut cream pie, my absolute favorite. We even have pickles. Some people really don't like pickles. I'm gonna have 30 minutes to complete it and let's see what we can do. All right, everybody, so here we go. Over 12 pounds of barbecue. Let's get this go. So I'm just gonna start when I have my first bite. Cheers. Let's go, get some ribs. We're live. Sitting down, he's just Hey everyone, welcome to today's extra special, awesome, amazing, awesome, super duper duper video. Super excited to be a part of this. I was so happy to partner with Adamson Barbecue and all the other sponsors to raise money for the Covenant House Toronto, which is a crisis youth shelter in Toronto. So here we are at Adamson Barbecue in Toronto, which literally, undoubtedly has the best brisket ever, ever. Let that sink in and go get yourself some. So what we are going to do today is eat as much barbecue as we could in 30 minutes to raise as much money as possible. That is $350 per pound. So we started off with 12 pounds. I was hoping for a minimum of 10. Let's see what happens. And to give you some insight to what was going on, so by this point, about eight minutes in, I was starting to slow down a bit. I had already consumed about seven and a half, come on, eight pounds of food, and I was going pretty hard with the liquids. I probably should have been a little bit more mindful of them, whereas by this time, I probably already consumed about two and a half liters of fluid or so. So I ate the foods that I thought would be harder to speed eat first, being the ribs and the brisket. Little did I know that there was actually two different portions of brisket. I had a fatty brisket and a lean brisket. I ate the fatty brisket first, which was absolutely delicious, but it was easier to eat. And the ribs just fell off the bone. So I thought, again, they'd be harder to take some time to eat, but nope, they were super quick. So I kind of left the harder items to speed eat for last. Uh, the pulled pork was a little bit harder, uh, just required a little bit more care and concern when chewing and swallowing. The lean brisket just taking a little more time and the sausage, uh, the skin 
well, I'll start by saying the sausage was the best sausage I've ever had. That's not what she said. But the skins on the sausage was a little bit of a choking hazard. So I had to really be careful of uh, eating them. That being said, so if I was going to go back in time and redo it, I would just change the order of the items, or the order I ate the items in. But man, I can't say enough. This food was just so damn good. Even trying to consume over 12 pounds of it. But hey, enjoy. Because I sure did. So here I asked for more pie because the sweetness of the pie and just the texture was a lot easier to eat at the moment than the barbecue which was getting a little colder and just the absolute sheer volume of savory foods was a little harder to we'll say consume at this point is a little harder on the palate um, but man so I was going with that pie the pie was great the little bit of sweetness kept saving me, going a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory. But by this point, I could had consumed about a gallon of liquid. Um, so just due to the nature of the food, the proteins, this required a lot of fluid. Uh, definitely took up some capacity in my stomach. But, you know, just kept going, saving what I could, and it was still delicious. Four minutes, 30 seconds. Four minutes, 30 seconds. I think, dude, I think the shot is going to be worse. Go! We got 11.4. 11.4. The sauce on that plate, so it's probably more. Yeah, that's, that's, I thought it was a half-pound sauce. The other thing is a quarter-pound sauce. I think it's a quarter-pound sauce. Oh, yeah. You think I'm going to get the sauce now? Who do you think you are? Talk to me like I that. Think I'm going to get the sauce. I'm going to get the sauce.
this whole free food? Like, what's the deal? I'm not very sure because how I feel is not worth the free food right now. <laughs> so I'm very sure, you know, it's probably considered a masochist in some category, but I'm not very sure. I'm for charity. Absolutely. Absolutely. Come for Joel, everybody. Come on. All right, everyone, so there we go. That's like 12 pounds of barbecue. That was a lot, but that's a lot of money. That's like $4,000 approximately going to the, to the Covenant House. I feel great. So that, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. It's always needed. Look at this check. It's bigger than I am, even after eating 12 pounds of barbecue. So look at that, everybody. Approximately $4,030 going to the Covenant House today. If you ask me, that was a job well done for the money. Not my sake, not my sake. So that, everybody, I want to give a huge shout out to Adamson Barbecue, all the sponsors involved helping this event happen today. Everybody here is great. It was exceptional. The food was amazing. Literally, like, I can't even describe it. Literally, the, the barbecue is so good. Try that brisket, try those ribs if you're ever here in the area. And the cream pie was good too. All right, everyone, here we are with the one and only owner of Adamson Barbecue, Mr. Adam himself. Uh, just want to give a huge thanks to him, all the staff here again, all the sponsors. Everything was absolutely exceptional. Adam, what did you think of the day? How was everything? That was incredible, man. That was dinner and a show for everybody who was here. <laughs> that, that was amazing. That, that was a feat of strength right there. I'm impressed. Dinner and a show. That's a good way to put it. And hey, I mean, like four grand charity. Yeah, that was amazing, man. We did some good today. That was amazing. I like it. I like it. All right. Anyway, my friend, thanks so much for everything. Everybody, you for if you're in Toronto, this is literally like the best Texas barbecue. Get your butts down here. There you go. Pork butts intended. Ooh. Get your butts down here. Get yourself some barbecue. And until next time, you'll be seeing this gentleman soon. Yeah. There's many bloggers here today. First, give a shout out to Mr. MJ. MJ, what's your uh, social media stuff? Oh, you can find me at MJ Eats Toronto, but I know I can't eat as much as this guy right here just did. MJ Eats Toronto. Be sure to check him out there. Guy has some great content. Thanks, bro. Some more awesome Toronto bloggers here. We got Alex and Ray. Want to shout your stuff out? Uh, hi, fellas. Check it out. Yeah, and follow Eat and Mingle. So we got Hype Belly and Eat and Mingle. So be sure to check them out. Their Instagram game is strong. <laughs> Another familiar face, we got Sherry here with her partner, Josh. Uh, Sherry, shout out your handles again. It's Hungry Sheepy. So we got Hungry Sheepy. Josh? And Tom Food on. <laughs> One more time. Canton food on. Like Cantonese and then food on. Canton yeah. food on. That's innovative. They have some Instagrams. I think they're doing a YouTube as well, so be sure to definitely check them out as well. Another familiar face, even though she wasn't in the Hi. pizza video, we got Christine from X Teen Page. Really cool channel as well, so becoming a good friend. We got some eating in together, so how was everything today? Ooh, it was awesome. Yeah, I was... The brisket is the best here. I agree. The brisket was amazing, <laughs> yes. so you know where to come. Honorable mention, all the people behind the scenes. We have Amy, we have Sadat. Uh, here chopping up this awesome barbecue, feeding it to us all. So you always need to have due credit to those who really deserve it the most. And also a huge shout out to Shirley here as well. Really, these people are the ones that make the wheels go round, if you know what I'm saying. But I'm also heading out of here. Uh, again, such a memorable event. This was really, really cool. Raising over $4,000 to the Covenant House here in Toronto. Uh, I'm definitely very full still. Feeling a bit better than I did right after the 30 minute mark. So, you know what to do, everybody. I think it'll be good some action. Trimming a good old brisket. Woo, look at that. That's yeah. wicked. This is kind of what makes Texas barbecue Texas barbecue. Is that? That's beautiful. Wow, look at all those briskets. Yeah. I actually, I, I smoke meat myself, but yeah. I, ju I just do it on a little, uh, like a Weber charcoal grill. Nice, but at least you didn't probably, right? Like, no, I'd probably do the coconut. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't tried your pies yet. Oh, buddy, you're missing out. Uh, Last two. 